Okay, great. Now let's talk about our uh, shopping cart. Let's go to our original page, our final result page. And you can see here then whenever I want to add something to my uh, shopping cart, I am passing the ID of this item and I am pass passing also the action of this item. And when I add it to my uh, uh, cart, you can see that we have here the name, the quantity, we have the ability to reduce the quantity by clicking this arrow. We have the uh, line uh, sum and we have the, the total amount. We can also empty our cart and you can see that in this case the action is empty here and there is no need to pass anything, any ID. And uh, if we click on the row we are passing the ID and the remove action. So let's create this, uh, uh, this card page. I will use a product PHP and I will save it as card.php. Basically, basically because I just want a page which is including all those uh, includes and I will change of course this part which is like the inner part of our web page. Okay, I will still leave uh, the text border uh, div and I will delete uh, the content of this uh, div. Okay, great. First of all, I want to uh, retrieve the variables that should be passed uh, to, this, uh, uh, to this page. First one is the ID, so let's check if is set. Get ID. Then let's assign this ID to an ID variable, as we usually do. And if not, let's just set ID to be 1 by default. Okay, great. Let's copy this and paste it. Now we will be checking the action. Action. Let's say if uh, the action variable is not passed here, let's just empty our uh, shopping cart. So let's set action to be empty. Okay, great. Now we can begin displaying or begin updating our uh, shopping cart because this page will be divided to two parts. One part will update our page that the quantity here maybe increase our uh, amount of products, maybe empty our cart, uh, maybe we'll add a product to our uh, cart. So we will just first update this shopping cart and then we will display it. And uh, the concept I'm using here is uh, the sessions. I'm using the PHP session. What is actually a session? Session is like a, a box or some container which is opened for every user, uh, especially for every user. Because in this, uh, in this application, I don't want to store this information in my database because it is different for every user. So I would like the server to open a new box, a new black box for each user that is uh, coming into our website. And in this box I will include a new session. Session is like a variable, okay? The session will be called cart. 
and this uh, session will be an array and this array for example if we if we have 1000 uh, products so this array will have 1000 placeholders for example cart 1 will hold the quantity of uh, the product the the products with id 1 in our purchase uh, for example uh, place number two will hold in 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 in, in its value uh, the number of products uh, with id2 which are included in our order uh, so basically i will create this uh, session variable now and you will understand it later during the creation uh, let's go back uh, to our editor let's save our cart page let's just open it to see we have a blank page for now and let's fix this error by closing our PHP the problem is here we never closed this big if basically we can delete this if it just a leftover from our uh, product details page so let's write here a new caption let's delete this if save and refresh okay great we basically have an empty page now and we will use here the case uh, opportunity of uh, PHP because we have a few options for our uh, action so let's insert a new case by using the switch keyword and our variable is action here it can get different uh, values one value is add in this case we will do the following the other oh sorry then we need to input the break keyword and only then the next case remove break and then we will need case empty and break okay at the beginning of the page I need to set my session 